guys, welcome back. Uh, episode 43 we're up to. We've just done the Club World Cup, and uh, which we have won. Quite convincingly, I'd say. We finished top of our group. Smashed Palmer in the semi-final 2-0. Smashed. Mm. Beat Palmer again 2-0. And then played Monterey in the final, who we beat 2-1. Uh, conceding only our second goal. Um, player stats... Oh, geez, I don't know. It's Antonio De Nigris, actually, Mexican striker. Well, he looks pretty good. 27, though. We'll add him to the shortlist. We've got an abundance of strikers, though, so it's probably not someone that we're going to look at. Uh, other than that, it's not really much to go on. Yeah, goals. Yeah. Brihimovic. Tomiko Kaluza. 23-year-old South African striker. He's not bad. He wants to move to a big club. Work permit could be an issue anyway. Uh, we are back now. We've got the uh, Community Shield to play against Arsenal. Uh, this is actually a trophy that we um, haven't won in our time here. Uh, we've obviously City have won it before. Uh, we've still got Duff out for a week with a broken toe. Um... Uh, Okoronko is still really quite tired. He's He's been struggling for fitness. And actually, uh, Jimmy Victory back into here. I might just take Okoronko off training for... No, Okoronko, you, Okoronko. Uh, just off training for a week, just to give him a little bit of a rest. He is going to sit on the bench, though. Um, we're going to have... Uh, Pretty much strongest team, barring Duff and obviously Okoronko. Final runs a little bit tired, but you know, it's a trophy I want to win. It's not a huge trophy, but you know, let's see if we can get get a win on against an Arsenal team who uh, got interesting lineup. Cosin Contara. I have never heard of this guy from Madrid. He is a Quality right back. It's been known. And Matt Hill. Matt Hill from Bristol City. Is their captain. Weird. Silver Tory. And they've already scored. Kevin Nolan. Franny Jeffers. Trevor St. Clair. And then bloody hell. Jermaine Defoe. And Arsenal are all over us here. I can probably put this down to us just being absolutely knackered from playing the Club World Cup. Um, maybe I should have rotated the team. I don't know. There. And we're back. We're back. Van der Vaart scoring one. He has been uh, absolutely cracking for us. I've seen some posts uh, from people online talking about Van der Vaart struggling where to play him. He never plays well. Um, I mean, look at this: 16 goals, 12 assists, average rating of eight. Uh, left side of midfield, guys. Just that tip. Although, <coughs> excuse me. It, uh, I don't know why Ajax been playing him, but he's been killing it there. Um, Although, in saying that, guys, I have signed him before, and I have played him, um, uh, sort of, I guess, behind the striker, where Nicky Franco is at the moment, and he's really, really struggled. Um, left side of midfield here seems to be an ideal position for him, so, little tip there. We've come back nicely. Sad five on target. Ah, Franny Jeffers. <laughs> oh, Franny Jeffers. God. Let's get closer on. Bonner is not playing well. Neither is Sean Wright Phillips. Wright Phillips is lacking. Um, how many Hargreaves on for Wright Phillips? Hargreaves can play. He's so versatile, actually. Such a good player. Hopefully we can nab one back here because this, I have a feeling we're going to lose this. Arsenal have probably got enough to hold on. Just under 90,000 at Wembley for this game. Oh, closer. Do we go straight to penalties? Do we go straight to penalties? I've used all my subs anyway. in the game and we've gone to penalties so Ibrahim Saeed at number one that looks good number two Bakaloglu at 17 what's closest 15 yep 
Van der Vaart, 17. Lee Bowyer, 15. Yep. Lee Young Po, 13. It's the computer actually does a pretty good job of ranking these guys in order. Cambiasso 10 and Frey 12. He's actually better than Cambiasso. The computer actually does a really, really good uh, of automatically um, listing those penalty takers. We're going to drop it down to slow here and restart the match. Jeffers. No, that's actually very slow. Said. Ooh, get in. Saved by Frey. Bacaloglu there. Trore. It's a goal for Arsenal. Ramp van der Vaart. We score again. Get in. Defoe. Goal for Arsenal. We win here for Boya. Yes. No, Van Brocco. Sorry, my bad. Van Brocco has missed. Wide of the post. Man City win. Get in. Well, that is clinical penalty taking. Closer didn't even need a shot, but Cosmin Kuntaro, the player who I had never heard of. Um... For Milan as well to play game, he's actually really good, impressive, um, good win though, and a uh, that's the community shield locked in the bag for us. No one really gives a flying whatnot about that, uh, but we can add that to our list. Look at this, club World Cup, Intercontinental Cup, Champions League. Uh, what's the Cup Winners Cup? Maybe that doesn't exist anymore. Super Cup. The only one that's eluding us at the moment. Is the FA Cup. Anyway, good start. Good little warm-up season. Good little warm-up uh, pre-season there for us. So, hopefully we can move on. We've got a little little bit of a tricky sh start with uh, second place Chelsea first up. Um, and Spurs... Uh, not too bad, actually, after that. Wednesday, Brom, West Brom. We're going to sell on Anelka for 10 mil. Yeah. Yep. Betis have come in. Ooh, who's going to play with Betis have here? Is Jonas Carlgood Johnson. If you need a good DMC, this guy, he is really, really good. Definitely recommend him. He's not playing a lot for them, which is weird. Add him to the shortlist, because he is a quality DMC. He's so young as well. Uh, so, there you go. A bit of a bit sad to see Anelka go. I would have liked to keep him around, but he... I mean, to have him for the four seasons that we've had, uh, and him not crack it, has been, I think, pretty impressive. Uh, Oh, Veron. Look at this. Back to Lazio for 30 mil Dortmund Roma. United is silly selling him. Really silly. Gary Neville's unhappy. It's weird. Uh, Chelsea. Yep. Oh, it's one player. Like, seriously, mate? What am I paying you for? Go back out there again and do your job. Uh, Jamie McMaster. He's not too bad. He's good. You can pick him up here. Leeds usually let him go and get him for free. I have had one save for you, uh, Jamie Master enthusiasts out there. Um, he actually turned out really, really good and got capped by England, actually, and uh, had a very successful England career. I think he has the... Uh, uh, his potential is, is in minus. It's like a minus one or a two. I can't remember. Whatever it is. Uh, so if they've got, if players have got a minus potential, it means that it's just random when you start the game, uh, and he's one of them. Maybe it's only a hundred because, like I said, I've only ever seen him come out well once. And there he is, Nicholas Anelka has left Man City for ten million pounds, which is pretty good because obviously we didn't buy him. He was good two seasons of thirty goals, and he was still pretty good in these other two seasons. His goals dropped off quite dramatically. Um, but you have a look at his achievements. Cup winners. Player of the year. Third place in the World Cup. Uh, third place PFA player of the year. 
Supporters Player of the Year again, obviously. Team of the Year. Confederations Cup. UEFA Champions League winner as well. So, um, not a bad thing for him. And that actually just frees this up nicely to, for me to have these three strikers. And also giving a lot more options for Cherno. Uh, so, that is Lee Young Po, who is... Light tie, interesting signing on there. Um, Light tie. Uh, so obviously, young pro po out on international journey will bring the you know Jamie victory. What a what a champion he's been for us. What an absolute champion. Cost us fifty k, and just essentially got almost better every time. Uh, so he will come and start there. Other than that, is Okoronko. He's still not quite up to 100%, is he? Um, and we might rest Van der Vaart, giving Bakaloglu a go with Rooney coming onto the bench. D'Alessandro, that groin strain for him is a little bit of an issue. But anyway, we'll see how we go games against Chelsea past meetings they actually have the best of us be winning beating us in five uh, attempts so it'd be good to get the uh, season off to a winning start and uh, and get one over Chelsea obviously not as uh, Ida Good Johnson scores but Ibrahimovic with his fifth goal of the season already comes back in. What what a player he has been! What a buy! Remember when we we picked him up for two and a half mil? Cracking! And weirdly though, we've missed a season here. I don't know what's happened, but the uh, two thousand and three two thousand and four season is missed here. He scored twenty two goals, but I think because he's got this weird loan. Because um, if you remember, we got him on loan. Because uh, weirdly he was listed for loan, and then Barcelona came in and bid two and a half million for him, and I was like, well, if a player like Ibrahimovic is going for two and a half mil, uh, I'm going to bid two and a half mil. So there it is, two and a half mil, and yep, yeah, cool. And yeah, we signed him from Barcelona. So and you know, 44 goals in two seasons is nothing to be sniffed at. As we give away a penalty, and Good Johnson makes it two nil. And we've just picked up a penalty there. Uh, but Bakaloglu is playing pretty poor. So we find a road probably to take this with his 20 for penalties. Um, we'll get Kerr on for Bakaloglu there. Nicky Varenko is not playing great. Let's get closer on for him. Farnerud makes it two all. Can closer make a difference on his Premier League debut. Ugh, Chelsea come back and nab one through Colton Cole. <sighs> Ibrahim Saeed's not playing well. It's very unlike him. <sighs> Bring Rooney on for Boya. Only real sort of attacking option I can make. I think we're going to go down with a loss for the first game of the season here, unless we can nab some sort of consolation towards the end. Does not look like it. No, and there it is, and we lose at Stamford Bridge. Uh, relatively even game. Sean Wright Phillips man of the match, which is good to see. Uh, a little bit disappointing there to lose to the team who came second last year, but I'm going to put that down to uh, basically tiredness after this massive, massive preseason here. Uh, I mean, you think about one, two, three, four, five, six games. Some of my guys have played six competitive games before we even kicked off the Premier League, uh, and we're away from home. So, what can I say? Um. Yeah. Slightly disappointing with Nikiforenko. I did kind of peg him for maybe kind of losing his spot. Uh, I've signed him to a longer contract for another three years. 
um, just so we can see how he goes but yeah it's a bit of a worry because I'm, I'm almost tempted to just pop someone like closer Miroslav close closer behind the goal there behind the striker sorry and um, and see how he goes playing behind Ibrahimovic Right. We've got an international break now, have we? Must do since everyone's been called up. Hmm. It's not the best start. Not at all. Um. Especially since, uh, was actually, the more I think about it, the more worrying it is with Chelsea coming second last year. Um, you know, they're not probably going to drop too many points this year. They've they've improved their squad quite dramatically. Um, Man United signed me Mido. Putton. Oh, Alan Putton. David Pruton Chelsea yeah Christoph Rio don't know who he is is that Lizaru regen surely not surely Lizaru is still around uh, say no Bayern transfers players out J -j -j no, no, he's still around, so it's not him. Anyway, they've signed Mendieta, top signing at 31. Um, Lightai and Matthew Jones. Who the hell is Matthew Jones? Not that great. Hmm. Got Aga Howard, though. You look at his stats from last year 27 goals and 11 assists. Oh, excuse me. Late at night. 11 assists. Uh, right, what have we got? We've got Tottenham here tomorrow, actually, at this rate. So, games are going to come thick and fast because we've had uh, that Club World Cup, I think. Well, it shouldn't be too affected. No. No, I think we're pretty good, actually. Champions League groups will be drawn soon. See who we get there. Definitely looking to um, do better in that than we did last year. Um, definitely, and FA Cup is a is a focus this year. And once we, jeez, late. Um, uh, Koronko, is he, he is back. Let's get him back in the training now. Um, and let's get him back in the starting lineup. Uh, Whitley can go for... Get Jamie Victor on the bench. Bakaloglu was terrible, wasn't he? He was awful. Got five, didn't he? And I didn't even discipline him. Um, hmm, he hasn't started the season too well. Um, we'll see how he goes, but... <laughs> mate, this squad is cutthroat. Tottenham. Pretty good record. Uh, Dallas Sander is up for his debut. I don't think he's fully fit. No, he's still out for a few days. Uh, we still have Mike Duff. Right, hopefully, yes, Ibrahimovic again. What a... Like, at 23 years old, a striker for life with him. And is that... Sorry, he had 44. Oh, okay. That is his 50th, 50th goal for Tottenham. Tottenham, City, Farnerad. This is good. Nice and comfortable. Tottenham have a half decent team on this. 
Uh, uh, poor rifle here this side. It got Timmy Cahill. Yeti Dudek. Dean Richards, RIP. I'll be keen, obviously. Laurent Robert. Uh, half decent team. That's disappointing there. High fell scored. The end of our knee injury. Let's get a physio report on him. And we'll make a change. Mark Kerr. Uh, and we'll just do a bit of a. Nope. Reshuffle there. Yes, Ibra. Ho oh. Tottenham were close then. So everyone else looks pretty good here. Um, closer on again, just behind there. And I'm going to bring the victory on for Lee, the young pro who's on a yellow. We don't want that to. Uh, yes. Barnard getting his second. He has been an absolute beast for us. Look at this. Look at this. Just bedded him in, and then this season he explodes. So we look to take a comfortable 4-2. Four, 4-2 four two. Four two win. Closer with an assist. That's good, 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 good. Uh, and man of the match. Alexander Farner, good, good. Crystal Palace topping the topping the league at the moment with four points. Is anyone? Oh, United have only played one game as a West Brom and Charlton. Arsenal, yeah, okay. No concern. Here we go, the group phase for the Champions League. Phase one. We have got IFK Gothenburg, Olympiakos, and... PSV. Um, Gottenberg have got. I wasn't really. I can remember sounds out. Uh, Martin Eriksson is a half decent midfielder. Uh, Olympiakos have this guy Prejag. Not even gonna bother with that name, but he's quite old. Other than that, we've got some half decent players here. Uh, PSV is obviously be the uh, the big Stefan Stam. I wonder if that's Yap Stam's brother, but they've obviously got Wilfred Boma. Um, who else have they got? Johan Vogel. And signed Mark Overmars. John Delong. Jong. And uh, Jan Van Hooger of Helsink. He's decent. Obviously, they've got Kesman, who is amazing on this as well. Robin, pretty decent. He's still only 21. Uh, Van Petta, he's half decent. Yeah, we should have enough to get through that group, I reckon. Um, it's the second group that's always the tricky one. Which is where we stumbled last year, and... And uh, hope to make amends this year. Uh, Lee Bowyer up in the England squad. Croft, Samba, Rooney, Van der Vaart in the Netherlands squad. Torres, Chris Wright, yep. Frey, Duff. Transfer deadline. What do we play next? Is it this weekend? 28th. Yep. Sheffield Wednesday. That will probably be the uh, final game of the episode, I would say. We're only coming up to the 25 minute mark. Righto, righto. Sheffield Wednesday. Um, we beat them 6 3. What a game that was. Shefki Kuki. Kuchi. And then we beat them 2 1. Um, Mike Duff is back. Uh, we're going to put him on the bench, though. 
And we've also got a fit under D'Alessandro. Uh, he's going to come on the bench as well. I'm going to take Nicky Ferenko out and give closer a start up front and put Torres uh, on the bench. And we'll see how that goes. Wednesday, we're probably going to have another tough, tough season, as you can see here. They've only got a draw, bagged one goal as is. Um, <coughs> and uh, they have had the bulk of it in the first 10 minutes, but we've managed to come out with our first three shots on target, scoring three goals. Mark Schwartz not having a good one, um, which is an Aussie that's disappointing to see. Um, bought him in January last year. Probably saved him from relegation, judging by that. Uh, Nicholas Janssen, former City player. 11 assists in his first season with us. Paul Reed. Oh, it's that Paul Reed. Anyway, we're all over Wednesday here. As you'd assume, ex assume, assume they've also got J Dwight York. God, I am tripping all over my words today. I do apologise for that, guys. You're looking quite comfortable, though, coming into halftime here. Uh, Okoronkwo has got a shin injury. Got a lot of players, actually, who are tired. Uh, Van der Vaart, just a little bit tired. Cool, cool. Okoronkwo is going to come off for Taribo. And, oh, no. Don't know why they did that. I'll swap that with that. Um... Good. Close is playing really well actually behind those two strikers. He's got an assist already. So that's good to see. Ibrahimovic adds a fourth. Yeah, hat trick for Ibra. Let's get him off. Get him off, give him a rest. We're gonna bring Delisandro on and uh, and we'll swap him with closer. And swap with Farnerod. Uh, what what's happening here? Let's try that again. Uh, Delisandro is either footed, which is good. A little bit of a tweak there. Everyone else is sitting on nines and stuff. This is good. There was someone on a seven here. Bowyer. Yeah. Uh, let's get Kerr on for Van der Vaart. I think Mark Kerr is either footed as well, isn't he? Yep. Cool. We'll change that. Farner would be the next off if he bags his hat trick. Um, seven goal thriller with him the first time we played him last year. Um, just five here, but I'm glad we've kept a clean sheet this time. A little bit disappointed that Closer hasn't managed to grab a goal after moving up front. But he finishes on nine. Uh, I could see Kerr and D'Alessandro getting in as well. Two assists for Closer, though. Um, hasn't got a goal yet in the league, but good. We're up into third. We're a point behind Sheffield United and obviously Chelsea, uh, who beat us. United looking pretty good, too. If they win, they'll be the only undefeated team in the Premier League. Uh, anyway, guys, good start to the season. We won the penalty sh the penalty shield, the community shield on penalties. Uh, lost our first game to Chelsea. I do always find you lose your first league game in this for some reason. I do not know why. Um, and then we've come back and hit nine goals against Tottenham and Sheffield Wednesday. Um, we're looking pretty good. We've got a relatively nice Champions League group, I feel. Uh, Olympiakos, uh, IFK, Gothenburg, and PSV. So, um, which we, uh, come back next time, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, do it all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.